welcome back my name is Alice for those who don't know me so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how I lighten my roots so as you can see my roots are super dark right now almost black that's my natural hair color and I find it kind of too contrasty against my balayage as you can see there's kind of a harsh line of demarcation and it's just too contrasty for my taste like there's nothing wrong with a contrasty look but just for me I wanted to soften my look a little bit so I'm gonna lighten my roots to a nice warm chocolate brown and I'm also gonna show you how I tone the rest of my blonde hair with the same formula I'm starting off by brushing my hair through so that my hair is tangle free. My roots have grown so much, like I haven't dyed my hair in 6 months. So I'm just parting my hair in the middle right now. It's easier to apply the hair dye when you have a middle part to guide you. I'm naturally a level 2, so that's a very dark brown, almost black. So I want to lift my roots up to a level 4-ish, which is still dark brown but it's just going to be less deep, less ashy, and more of a warm chocolate brown, which will achieve a better blend with the rest of my hair. And it will also be a perfect base for new future highlights. Now let's grab everything we need. So I bought all of my supplies online. I will of course link all of the products down below. So first of all, I bought this Goldwell Silk Lift Cream Developer in volume 10. I also got two brushes to apply the hair dye, but I'm only going to use one brush today because I'm going to make one single formula. So these next products are totally new to me, so this video is going to be a little bit experimental. <laughs> these are the Goldwell Top Chic Special Lift Permanent Hair Colors in the shade 11SN. And I didn't notice the word special lift when I bought this. <laughs> next I grabbed a little mixing bowl. You can find these mixing bowls anywhere online, I just have this one already. I also grabbed my Olaplex Traveling Stylist Kit. I absolutely swear by Olaplex. I know it's super expensive, but there is nothing like it to repair damaged hair. So for my formula, I'm going to be using the Olaplex Bond Multiplier, which is number one. And what's so amazing about this is that you can mix it into your hair dye or into your bleach and it's actually going to prevent a part of that damage that usually comes with dyeing or bleaching your hair. I also grabbed the instructions and a couple of elastic hair bands that we will be needing in a minute. And last but not least, I'm grabbing my L'Oreal Blonde Studio Developer in Volume 20 because I'm going to mix this with the other developer, Volume 10, so that I create Volume 15. So here comes the experimental part. I have never used the Goldwell Top Sheet colors and I discovered that this was a high lift color, which I wasn't aware of. So this is supposed to lift your hair up to four levels and it's supposed to be mixed with volume 30 developer, but that's not what we're gonna go for because that will be way too much lift. So as you can see, I'm squeezing in volume 10 into the bowl right now and I'm being really precise to have 60 ml of that in the bowl because in a second we're gonna add volume 20 and we're gonna go for the exact same amount so that we have a perfect volume 15, which is exactly what I need for two levels of lift because I have fine hair. I'm using this tiny measuring cup to help me get to that 60 mil exactly. And I would like to point out that I am not a professional, so I'm just going with my gut feeling here. I've dyed my hair by myself all of my life and I'm also doing my own highlights and balayage, so I'm not really scared of this, but I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm adding volume 20 developer to the mix. And again, I'm being really precise with my measurements here because I wanna have equal amounts of both developers because equal amounts of volume 10 and volume 20 make the perfect volume 15. I'm also following the top chic instructions in terms of the developer to color ratio because you need to use twice as much developer in ratio to the color. And speaking of the color, that's exactly what we're going to add in right now. So I'm going to squeeze the entire content of the Top Chic 11SN tube into the mixture. And the reason I chose this color is because I really like the tone. 
SN stands for silver neutral and I really like those undertones. But don't worry, my roots are not going to turn out this light. I'm only going to lift two levels. I don't expect a ton of toning of this formula on my roots because of the light pigmentation. But it could do a little bit of toning at the roots. And I have a little trick up my sleeve to tone my roots even more, so stay tuned for that. However, I do expect this formula to tone my highlights because they are pretty light. But more importantly, I chose a level 11 because I didn't want to darken my highlights. Since I'm doing my own head, it's so easy to overlap and I didn't want to risk it and ruin all my previous hard work. <laughs> but now we're going to add in Olaplex into the bowl, into this mixture. So I'm just following the instructions and squeezing 3.75 mil into the measuring tube. I love this system it's so easy you don't need like a separate measuring cup it just comes with the tube and you can measure it with that so as you can see we're adding that to the mixture and we're just going to whip this up until the olaplex is completely mixed in and everything is just nice and creamy And not only is the Olaplex going to protect my hair, it's going to repair my hair and add some shine. So that's amazing. And now we're going to start with the application. So I sliced my hair in the back and I took about half an inch of hair. And with my application brush, I'm just going to paint this on my roots and try to stay like kind of in that zone. And I am feathering the formula into the transition zone, but I'm not going over the top of the highlights just yet. We're gonna go over the highlights and the lengths of the hair in the last 10 to 15 minutes to tone that and to maybe boost up the brightness a little bit. But for now, we're just focusing on the roots and the transition area. So I'm just taking another slice, I'm a bit out of focus here, but I took another piece of hair, just half an inch, and I'm just gonna work my way up and keep on applying to my roots and the transition area. And I'm really saturating my hair, like I'm really getting in there, brushing it in, because I don't want any spots or any weird streaks, so really saturate that hair. Like, But um, also I wanted to mention, I'm working with two mirrors just to be like kind of in control of where I'm applying the formula. But see, this is why I mentioned that I chose a level 11 because of course at one point or at many points even, I'll accidentally go over some highlights. But at least now I don't need to worry about that because this formula cannot darken my hair. So that's what's nice about it. It can only lift and tone. So I started applying the formula in the back, but as you can see, I moved to the sides because I'm kind of starting to go over the perimeters of my face uh, after the first couple of slices in the back because I just want that lift to start around my face as well. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between the back and the front. I always do this when I bump my base. I start in the back and then I go around the face just because I want to start that lift at a certain point but not immediately. Like I don't want to lift the front area first because then it's going to turn out too light. A lot of this also has to do with the temperature of your head. Like it's warmer in the front than in the back and more heat creates more lift. So yeah, I'm kind of going between the back and the front here and I'm working my way up until I'm all the way up and then I do my crown area last. <laughs> I hope I'm making some sense here, but trust me, going back and forth like this between the front and the back really makes for a more even lift. So applying on my roots took me about 15 minutes, then I waited another 10 minutes. And then I started applying all over the rest of my hair, so lengths and ends, and I let that sit for 10 minutes. You're not supposed to apply this on pre-bleached hair, but I used such a low developer and only 10 minutes max. And then I rinsed everything off. So the hair dye turns a little bit purple, but don't be scared, that is just that purple tone, counteracting yellow tones. And now it's just time to relax and rinse all of that off with warm water. And now I'm going to use one of the most pigmented purple shampoos out there. This is the Red Can Color Extend Blondage. Blondage? Blondage. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
This is the darkest and most pigmented purple shampoo I have ever used. Sometimes it's even too dark for me, so I really try to focus this on the roots because that's where I need to do most of my toning because I know that the hair dye didn't deposit enough color on my roots since it was a level 11. So that's where this purple shampoo comes in handy. So now I'm dragging the shampoo down to the rest of my hair and I'm purposely doing this in the last moments because I don't want to deposit too much pigment on my highlights because this shampoo is super strong and it could make your highlights muddy. And then I'm going for my second round of purple shampoo and this time I'm really applying it on thick right on my roots almost like another dye and I'm really focusing this at the top of my head and then working that in and I'm letting it sit there for a couple of minutes while I massage it in. And again, in the last moments, I'm dragging the shampoo down, working it in in the rest of my hair and rinsing it off. So I'm going to be doing a third shampoo and this time I'm going to be mixing the Red Can Purple Shampoo with Olaplex Shampoo to start strengthening my hair all over after we dyed it. And I always do a third shampoo anyways when I wash my hair just to get all of that buildup out. So we're rinsing everything off one final time and I will not be conditioning because after I get out of the shower I'm going to be applying an Olaplex treatment to strengthen my hair and it needs to be applied on damp washed hair but not conditioned hair. Hence we're not conditioning right now. So as you can see I'm squeezing out most of the water right out of my hair with a little towel and I'm also kind of examining the results even though my hair is still wet and as you can see my roots are lighter. I was really happy with the result and with the level of lift that I got. It came out a little bit on the warm side but knowing that I wanted a warm chocolate brown that is totally fine with me and I know that I can fine tune the warmth with the purple shampoo in the next upcoming washes. So I'm super happy with these results. Right now we're gonna apply the treatment that I just mentioned, the Olaplex number no. 3 hair perfecter. So I'm going to apply this all over my hair from roots till end and this is supposed to kind of strengthen and rebuild and repair your hair and just improve the all over health of your hair and add some shine as well. I really love this Olaplex treatment. I always get good results when I leave it like the entire night. I just sleep in it. This Olaplex treatment gives my hair so much shine and it just significantly improves the health of my hair. And yeah, it's just such a noticeable difference whenever you sleep in it. You could use it for a shorter amount of time, but I definitely recommend sleeping in it. But this treatment is not a conditioner. It really is a standalone repair treatment. I do quickly want to mention that the number one and two treatment from Olaplex are way stronger than this number three, so way better results, but it's also more expensive. So if you kind of want to dip your toes into Olaplex, you just want to try it out. The number three is a good entry level for the price. It gets good results, but if you want like massive, massive repair, then I would recommend the one and two traveling stylist kit. So yeah. <laughs> And if you guys would be interested, I would like to do a video reviewing all of the Olaplex products because I was just eager to try everything out, so I bought the entire collection. So thumbs up this video and comment down below if you'd like to see that. So now that we've spread the products all over the hair, I've put it in a little bun and now I'm gonna put on my sleep beanie. I always use this when I am doing a treatment. Most of the time I will wrap my head in ceramic wrap before doing this, but I was kind of tired at this point so I just put on my beanie and I went to bed. <laughs> so the next day I took another shower and I washed the treatment off with shampoo and then I used my favorite hair mask of all times and that is the L'Oreal Absolute Repair hair mask. I applied this on towel dry hair from mid to ends, let it sit for 10 minutes and then rinse it all off. So here's curly me. I naturally have curly hair. So I let my hair air dry for the most of it and now I'm going to apply some serums and just blow dry my hair so that it is really dry and ready for the hair straightener. I love my curly hair but I barely wear it curly because it's just so tangly. Oh my god. Like it only stays pretty for one day and then I go to bed and I, I wake up with knots in my head. So. <laughs> I just can't and especially now since I am 
mostly in bed still recovering like i need to straighten my hair or else it's just gonna be one big naughty mess so after applying the hair serums i'm just gonna brush my hair through you just saw me use my two favorite hair serums the organics brazilian keratin smooth serum this is such a good serum i love it i applied this from mid to ends it just gives that healthy look and it smells delicious and then the second serum that I used was the L'Oreal Steam Pot Protecting Concentrate. I love this for my ends. It just makes fried ends look healthy again. <laughs> so yeah, love that. So now we're gonna blow dry the hair and I'm using my brush and just a cheap brandless blow dryer that I love. As long as a blow dryer is light in hand and has like that lukewarm, almost cold setting, as well as several temperatures, then I just roll with it, I'm all set. I don't need anything fancy, it does the job. <laughs> so I'm using the coldest setting, not the cool shot, but like the lukewarm one. And I'm just going through my hair, really getting that dry. So now I'm just gonna straighten my hair the way I usually do it. So I'm just gonna speed this up for you guys so that we can get to the results. So at this point in the day, the lighting was really starting to change constantly and my camera just couldn't keep up with it. So I'm sorry if my hair color looks different in every shot. At the end, I'm trying to show you the best shot possible, like color wise, at least the color of my hair. Like my skin is completely being washed out by my lamps, but the hair color will be accurate. And here we have it, you guys, the final results. I am so happy with the way my hair turned out. Everything just worked out. My roots are this perfect warm chocolatey brown. There's no black to be found up there. And my hair looks healthy and shiny. I also love the tone of my balayage. I feel like the formula gave my blonde hair this nice creamy, oatmeal, beigey sort of tone and I love it. My highlights also got a boost in brightness, which I totally love, so yeah, happy times. <laughs> Bumping the base is like one of the greatest low maintenance things you can do in between highlighting sessions. Like, it is awesome. It is so easy to do, anyone could do it honestly, and it just gives you back your fresh, new look like you've just come back from the salon only this took super little effort in your own bathroom there was a little bit of brassiness in the transition zone but the camera definitely exaggerated that it wasn't as vivid in real life but what i did was i purple shampooed for the next two weeks so now i'm going to show you some before and after images and i'm going to include images from two weeks later as well so on the left side we have the before and on the right side we have the after. So before I dyed my hair you can clearly see that my roots are like almost pitch black, super dark and there is kind of a harsh line of demarcation also between the balayage and my roots. Whereas when you look on the right side after you have the brown roots, you have a softer blend going from the roots to the balayage and you don't have that harsh line. So I really like like that difference of the softer blend from the roots to the rest of the hair so that really makes the look and also when you look at the blonde hair you can tell that in the before image it's a lot more yellow and brassy and in the after image is a lot more toned down a little bit more I don't want to say ashy but just less yellow <laughs> and just more that kind of oatmeal tone which I love so here is two weeks later on your right side compared to the before still on the left side so you can see that I definitely toned down some of those brassy areas with purple shampoo so now everything just looks so soft and blended and I just love how all of the colors blend into each other without any harsh lines so I'm super happy with this final result I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching Please subscribe if you would like to, of course, no strings attached. <laughs> and yeah, let me know what next videos you would like to see down in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!